Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. Now, what we have here, we factor 3 raised to power x here, and we have 3 raised to power x into brackets. Here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here, plus bracket equals to 20 on this side. That is, yeah, this becomes 3 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. Then equals to 20 from here. At this here, we divide both sides by 3. Divide this side by 3. Also divide this side by 3. Here, 3 cancelled each other. And we are left with 3 raised to power x equals to 20 over 3 here. The next step, we take the log on both sides. Here, we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log 20 over 3. As this, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. As this, here, this becomes x log 3 equals to log 20 over 3 here. This next step here, we divide both side by log 3. Divide this side by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. Which implies here, log 3 cancelled this order. And we have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then from here, this follows law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 3. That is, from here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3. That is here, log 3 cancel each other. We have one left here, which implies x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1. Then from here, we can express 20 as 4 times 5. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Here yeah, also we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. That is here. Yeah, 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. And this becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, and what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 plus 
log 5 over log 3 minus 1. That is, here yeah, we apply change of base. Now we have log A over log B. This is the same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. That is the value of x here we have x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then here we substitute the value of x here to check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, what we have it is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 plus also 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 and plus also 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. This is equals to 20 on this side. Then here we have three things added together. Well, we have a plus a plus a. The same thing as 3 times a. That is what we have can be written as 3 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. This is equals to 20 on this side. That is, you follow the law of indices here. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. And also, a raised to power n minus n, same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n. That is, here we have 3 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3. Then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 over 3 raised to power 1. This is equals to 20 on this side. That is, yeah, we have 3 times 3 raised to power. We revise this 2 up, we have log 2 square base 3. Then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Then over 3 raised to power 1, that's 3. This is equals to 20 on this side. Then here, 3 cancelled each other. And we have 3 raised to power log. This is 2 square. And 2 square, that's 4, is 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 is 3. This is equals to 20 on this side. And here, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is a is same thing as 4 then times 5 this is equals to 20 on this side and of course 4 times 5 here that's 20 which is equals to 20 from here left hand side equals to the right hand side in therefore we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment. See you next class. And bye for now.